Hello everybody, Barry back again with another video and more problems with the Casillac. I've got an issue with a map sensor and a throttle body not agreeing and apparently there's a mass airflow correlation problem which might have something to do with me omitting the mass airflow sensor and going speed density. So I do not like this thing. This electronic throttle body is horrible. I've dealt with throttle cables forever. They're perfect, they're simple, everything works. This shuts off at stop signs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the bigger injectors on it anyway, and then try and sort out some of those map sensor problems I've been having. So, enjoy. Just for reference, if you have to disconnect these fuel lines that have the four little stainless tabs in them, and you don't want to buy a big kit, you can buy this little thing here. Uh, Power Built makes it, part number 648722, and it's like 10 or 15 bucks. The cool part is it has 5 16th and 3 8 on the same tool. Just put it over the line, clip it in, pull it back to release the tabs, and spray gas everywhere. And you can get it at CarQuest, so it's nothing but a trip down the road. You should always release the pressure off the rail before you go disconnect any fuel lines because there is like 60 PSI on it. So I'm just going to put a rag in under here, push a little bolt into this like a tire valve, and just release that pressure. When you can push the bolt in, there's no fuel coming out, then you know you're good. I always like to put rags in a, anywhere that you're going to get gas in case you do get any sort of a spark. Then most of the gas is in the rag anyway, and hopefully you got it cleaned up by then. So you just push this in and pull the line off, off the rail. And then 5 16 side, pull off this little safety clip. Take your 5 16 side, hook that one on like this, push it in, and pull that one off. Nice and easy. All right, we've got the fuel rail off. Now I'm going to take the injectors out and I'm going to clean out the rail because I can only assume that it's rotten by the looks of how the fuel filter was when I took that off. So let's take this apart. That doesn't look very healthy. You can see it looks like there might be some water in the bottom of this. And it's definitely dirt. The other rail looks okay on the return side, but the passenger side one doesn't look very good at all. Looks like a lot of dirt floating around in there. So let's clean it out. Right about with some brake cleaner. It didn't seem really ridiculously dirty, but this was a nice clean white rag when I put it here. And we can see there's a lot of dirt here. And I didn't spray off the outsides of the rails. They look fairly clean anyway. But all of this came out of the inside of the rails and out of this transfer tube here. So always a good idea whenever you're cleaning injectors or changing injectors, sorry, to spray out your rails. New injectors are in, 
You can see that I sprayed some grease on each seal before I put them into the uh, injector port here. That is because if you put in a dry O-ring, you could tear it. And a little bit of grease helps a lot. And I just use honey goo, nothing serious. And I'll spray each one of these bottom O-rings here too before I put them into the intake, same thing. Let's get this injection rail in, do some tuning and see if we can get it fired up. Somehow the time lapse got cut short, but it's all reassembled. Everything is in. I just got to run the tune, prime the fuel system, and try it. Here we can see the codes I was getting when it shut off on me. Mass air, circuit high. That is because I failed the mass air to go into speed density. The map sensor, I'm not quite sure about yet, but I think it's because I don't have the um, calibration set correctly because I got a three bar map sensor in it. I'm pretty sure this is still calibrated for the regular one bar. And airflow to throttle position sensor correlation high. That means that the mass air is picking up more airflow than the throttle is opened. Say it's pulling a lot of airflow at 10% throttle or something like that. So it's tripping this code and this is what's making it go into limp mode. So I'm gonna see if I can get rid of that. It's gonna be kind of funny looking because I got my phone laid down on the computer <laughs> so we can see it. But right now we're in injector flow rate versus KPA vacuum under the fuel and general tabs. So right now we can see that normally our injectors, the stock ones were 25.2 pounds per hour. I'm gonna set that to 70. Oops, there we go. 70 pounds per hour across the board. And now we have our fuel injector data updated. I don't mind if it's off a little tiny bit because I am doing a, an error histogram with the wideband on the scanner and any little differences in lean or rich will pick up on the scanner and I'll be able to tune my VE table to accommodate for that anyway. So let's go load the tune into the Cadillac. All right, scanner, check. Dash on, check. Girls watching YouTube, check, check. This might take a second to get the fuel pressure up, but let's try it. Ooh, it starts right away. We are 15, 16, 17. That's not bad. It is quite lean, so I'm gonna have to change up the VE tables a little bit. I'll do a couple of runs and get some data, we'll have it tuned up. But it runs. Not bad for a set of free decaps. Sounds cool too. Hopefully along with it, it stops going into limp mode and shutting off at stop signs. And all that fun stuff because Cass really doesn't like it and it makes her want to sell it. And I kind of like this rig, so I would like to keep it. So that's going to do it for tonight's video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good night.